So good morning. It's an exciting time to be at McDonald's. We have a vision to be a modern and progressive burger company. And we know our customers' expectations are changing. They're looking for us to be available 24-7, both inside of our restaurants and out. They're looking for personalized experiences. They're looking for recognition for their loyalty and even options for delivery. So to meet those expectations, we're investing significantly in technology. Today, I'd like to share our journey of where we've been and where we're going to assure that we fulfill that vision. Orchestrating change and transformation of a company the size of McDonald's from a traditional technology company to a digital innovator is very challenging. Integrating our world-class point-of-sale system in itself was one of those challenges. To give you a scale and perspective, our point-of-sale system runs on 200,000 registers and 300,000 devices across the globe in varying configurations. For us to provide an integrated customer experience for kiosk, mobile ordering, and offers requires seamless integration of that POS at the scale of McDonald's. That in itself was no small task. So as we started to build our digital platform, we looked inside for our experience. We started by looking at hosting characteristics. We went to Asia, where we have a $1 billion e-commerce delivery business in 23 countries running today. We analyzed the operational aspects, we took a close look at the architecture, and we recognized we were going to require public cloud for its near infinite capacity and capabilities for our success. We took a look at the software characteristics, and we looked outside. We found no single provider that had a multi-channel capability or model to provide the requirements we had to deliver our platform. Just to give you a perspective, 69 million customers a day, 36,000 restaurants, 6,000 menu items in each of those restaurants of varying availability and configuration that need to come together at one moment in time for a customer experience. We knew there was nothing out there, so we knew we needed to have something new, and we knew we, knew we needed to do it ourselves. So when we started to build the platform, we had a lot of requirements. Scalability required uh, scalability, security, capacity. I like to call them the illities. We needed all the illities. So we formed a strategy and developed a plan, and we do what McDonald's does best. We leveraged our partners. We used existing partners where we had them and where we had gaps and opportunities and needed new talent, we brought in new partners. For cloud, we found a partner in AWS. We knew they had the reliability and the capacity to support the needs of our digital platform. We also found the other partners we had worked very well with AWS, their ecosystem, and their platform. Now, transforming the organization from a traditional technology to a digital organization requires much more than technology. This is another area where we looked to leverage some help. We went to AWS as well and engaged their ProServe team for their Cloud Adoption Framework. Cloud Adoption Framework focuses very much on organization, skills, and best practices. People, process, and technology. It looks at it very well. Outcome for us, we developed our own McDonald's Team Cloud. Team Cloud was responsible for taking that cloud adaption framework and working it through the organization to assure success. The ProServe team also helped us in other ways. They gave us some great access to some deep technical knowledge and resources to help us tune our platforms and our services. The savings techniques we garnered from that engagement was worth the price of the engagement alone. So I'd love to share a deep technical diagram with everybody in the audience today. As you know, I can't. What I can share with you is a services diagram that shows some of the services we used. We started with IaaS, 
and we utilize over 35 services. So if you look in the center, you'll see our e-commerce platform. We typically refer to that as ECP. Backend typically uses EC, uh, EC2, EBS, ELB, and ElastiCash. EMR, S3, and Redshift are used for the big data and customer engagement pieces. Direct Connect, Route 53, and VPC are used for the networking aspects. We also leverage Device Farm and SES, and finally CloudWatch and IAM for access management and monitoring. So what I'd like to share is our great success in launching our plant platform in the U.S. and Canada this year. We're now looking to pilot in UK and Australia and looking to deliver the platform in China in first quarter of 2017 of next year. Cloud services were clearly very important to us. And looking back, we had great successes and great surprises. To give you a perspective on some of the targets from a performance perspective, we were targeting our ordering throughput at 350,000 transactions per hour concurrent. We achieved 500,000, 43% improvement. Our offers target was 600,000 per hour concurrent. We achieved over a million, 66% improvement. That equates to 31 million transactions per hour or 8,600 transactions per second. Impressive. We started with IaaS, and we quickly recognized the value of moving to platform services. For example, our use of ElastiCash prevents us from having to manage our own Redis clusters. So what's next for us? We're going to evaluate more platform services, ECS, Aurora, Lambda, and SQS for agility and scale. We want deeper integration with the services. We want to improve our capabilities. We're hoping to achieve much faster response times, greater movement to microservices, and improved automation capabilities. So parting thoughts for me. First, in a transformation and transition of desires, focus on your organization as much as your technology. We all figure out the technology stuff. Having the right organization, the right skills, the right people, and the right focus on your customer and your outcomes is essential to success. Second, pull in the right partners and technology. It's sometimes not possible to do it yourself, and leveraging the skills from the outside has led to a great success for us. Third, leverage platform services when you can. We started with IaaS. Looking back, platform services would have been a better choice for us to start sooner. We have an exciting journey ahead of us. Technology will be a key driver for McDonald's for years to come. I really like to recommend that you stop in and visit our restaurants. I think you'll also see the blurring of the digital and the physical at the same time. If you haven't already, I'd like you to definitely use our app. And for the one person in the audience who hasn't downloaded the app, please do so today. I promise you, we give away free fries every single week. So I'd like to thank AWS for giving me the opportunity to tell our story today. And I'd like to thank each and every one of you for your time and attention. Have a great afternoon.